Welcome back to What Are Tnips with General Disturbance. This is a T3485M. It's a tier 6 Soviet premium medium. It's located on the eastbourne of Storyanki and it's under the command of Major Nuisance. Now that's one of my alter egos. So this is my alternate account. And well, I'm just having a bit of fun trying to earn some credits using the premium vehicles on the account. And this is a quite standard premium. Always a good earner. T3485, 85mm gun with 180 alpha, penetration of 144 with standard ammo, goes up to 194 with premium. And I'm carrying a healthy dose of premium because I anticipate I'm going to have to hit some heavy tanks up in the centre line. Now basically T3485 is a derivation of the standard T34. The Soviets realised they weren't actually getting very good penetration with uh, standard 76mm rounds so they decided to actually try and a bigger turret with a 85mm gun in it and you can see my approach here is actually to uh, to go down this corridor not to the, directly to the church but actually go down a little closer on this side we can see there are some enemies over there t34 85 and an ikv or well, it's actually a t52 rather and an ikv 65 too so I'm going to go into the ditch by this route. And there's the T-52 and he's seen me. Let's see what he does. He's headed directly towards the uh, ditch. Stopped at that building. Yeah, he's not coming in. He's actually stopped by the rock. I'll have a quick look. I've locked on. Let's see if I can pop up and put a round into him. No. Not on this occasion. But I've got teammates now. I've got a Type 64 and a Baguette Panther. And he's, that's distracted the T-52. So I'm coming up by a different route. And put one into him for 183 high roll. He's one shot and he's out the game. Right, now I could move on. But there is that tank destroyer. And I've got eyes on these guys. The t 3485 m up the other end of the map. And a Poodle. So I'm going to fire a few rounds in their direction. See if I can shake them up a little. KV2. No, I haven't got a shot on him, but I might get a shot on the others. Oh, Churchill. I'll take that. Didn't get the first one in. No. Poodle comes into sight. Got one into his rear for 189. That's a high roll. Trying to go for the Churchill 7. The other T-3485 is spotted, but I think he's behind a wall. So I can just hit here and plug away because there's no enemy tank nearby me at the moment. And basically they can't see me because there's nobody to spot there and spot me at this end. Oh, Sherman Jumbo's going ahead. He'll find out if there is anybody nearby. I've got the Churchill 7 again. Obviously he doesn't realise he is in sight and I've got a nice high roll there. He's been tracked. I get another pen. I'm using the APCR to get good pen on him. Uh, oh, no, I shouldn't have fired that one. That's wasted ammo. Can I get shots on the KV-2? No, Poodle, no. And the T-34 is behind a building. So I'm going to have to go, go moving on if I'm going to get some damage on the enemy. And Well, the way you actually approach the enemy... Oh, I'm all spotted there. Is... Um, difficult because uh, if you do leave gaps between the buildings you or you sit between the gaps and between the buildings you allow the guys up the other end to get shots on you I was spotted so I pulled back I'm not going to try and shoot that T3485M but I didn't get a outline so moving on the AMX 12 tons gone a bit close oh he's found the IKV 65 too and he's killed there's a T150 nearby as well I've still got the APCR loaded, which is good. One into the T-150, low roll. He seems distracted by my teammates, so I'm going to keep plugging away. Low roll again. He's turning his turret towards me. He's a one-shot now. I pull back just for a moment, and he goes down to the baguette. A KV-1S has popped up. He's the other side of that ridge line. I'm trying to pull my way around this building here. Okay, use the T-150 wreck for cover. 
He pulls back behind that corner. Okay, we can try and creep up on him, but I think there might be some of his playmates around the corner. Okay, another round into his rear. Oh, took my first hit from the enemy. 164, there's the T-3485, he's just bounced around off me. Nope, that didn't work. I tried auto-aiming, but it, it really should have been manually aimed, that one. Okay, just everyone's approaching him at the same time. He's got three targets to pick. So I've got a 33% chance that he's going to pick the wrong target. And I'm going to get him. I've reloaded the eight standard AP. Burned through quite a lot of uh, premium ammo there. Yeah, he did fire at me, but he bounced off the side of my vehicle. And now I'm going to get three shots at him. Oh, he put one into me. Go for the ram. Gets an extra 126. He's now one shot and I finish him off. We've got a Hellcat and an 88. Auto aim onto the Hellcat. He's gone down to the baguette. Was, was it the baguette? No, it's our 88 who got him in the end. Okay, it's now chasing these last two. It's the M44. He's killed. Last one's the AT8. I'm going to get something out of him, I think. Hopefully. Yep, one round into him. Go for the ram. Unfortunately, it hit my rear of the baguette. But we're just going to fire into his body until he's dead. And that's the end of the game. So, not a bad action. 2,454 recorded. Let's have a look and see exactly how we got on. Well, it was only a second class tank uh, for Major Nuisance in the T-3485M. I managed to get a fire for effect for doing more damage to the hit points of my own vehicle. And I got a bruise in the middle of getting at least five critical hits. I only got six in that one. But I did get the high caliber for doing the most damage in the game. And my win eight was 4,661. If we look at the team score, we can see, yep, highest damage, 2,642. Uh, 2, and the next high score was KB2 on the enemy team with 2359. And after that, it was the M44 on our team. Managed to get 2101. And I actually sent him a message, congratulations, because he got a Confederate out of that one. So he was hitting a lot of the enemy and picked up a lot of useful damage to help us win the game. When it came to kills, it was actually the Baguette who did the best with four kills. Then came the 88, the KB2, and the 88 on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, it was actually the M44. He got 1,104 base out of that one. 1,082 to the baguette, and I got 1,050. So, uh, yes, it was a good combination, this one. We were we were firing, a, doing a lot of damage on the enemy. Let's have a look at the detail report. 25 shots fired, 17 direct hits, and 15 penetrations. It did help that I was using the APCR, because that uh, did give me the extra penetration that I needed on some of those heavy tanks. 2,642 hit points of damage, of which 743 were at more than 300 meters. So, most of the shots were at close range, but uh, there were some that were shooting directly alongside the, the length of the map, um, straight up at those tanks that were near the power plant. Five hits received from the enemy, three of which were penetrations, two non penetrations, and 360 hit points of damage blocked by armor. I damaged seven of the enemy, killed one, did 402 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium count, I earned 60,593 credits, and after repair, ammunition resupply took away 14,154 credits. Got one bomb for the high calibre, and 1,575 XP, times four for the first victory, 473 for this being a premium vehicle, took away 6,773 altogether. So I just titled this one Average Joe, because basically I was just an ordinary player, playing his way and trying to use the terrain against the enemy. Plus, of course, being the T-3485M, it's quite a good little medium, a flanking tank. It does enable you to get places uh, fairly quickly. Plus, of course, I was using the teammates that I was with to ensure that I could get shots on the enemy and the enemy would be distracted enough to allow my uh, 85mm to do sufficient damage to take them down. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel, please. And thank you for watching.